What are some of the ingredients of innovation? What makes someone a successful innovator? Hello, I'm Richard Jackson, a DuPont laureate in the Tyvek R&D organization, and I would like to share with you a little of my personal innovation journey and provide some answers to these questions, plus the biggest question. Why am I talking to you while cooking in my kitchen? Why my kitchen? Inspiration. In 2007, the film Ratatouille was released. It is a great family feature about an anthropomorphic rat that yearns to be a great chef. Remy the rat had an idol, Chef Gusteau, whose motto was, anyone can cook. So voila, cooking in my kitchen. Initially, this motto seems to be a trite saying. Can anyone, specifically a rat, really become a great cook? It is later in the movie that the true meaning of this motto is revealed. Not everyone can become a great cook, but a great cook can come from anywhere. So here I am in the kitchen to talk about my personal innovation journey and how anyone can innovate. But like Ratatouille, I don't mean that everyone will become a great innovator, but great innovators can come from anywhere. Modern innovators like Gates, Musk, Jobs, and historical innovators like Edison, Tesla, Bell have changed the world, and yet they've had varied backgrounds, educations, and careers. So let me tell you a few details of my journey and how I became known for my successes in innovating. As a chemical engineer out of Georgia Tech, I began my career in the petrochemical hub of Southeast Texas. My expectation was that I would put in several decades of working for the multinational oil company Texaco, hopefully working my way up the career ladder and eventually getting the proverbial gold watch and a nice pension as a reward. But unlike my usual bored interest in my academic pursuits, I found the real life challenges in industry to be exciting as results are measured in real dollars and cents. After seven years, I got the itch of wanting to go beyond working for the man. So I went out on my own as a consultant and then as a small business owner. For 10 years, I enjoyed being David versus Goliath as a principal and eventually the president of a small consulting and engineering firm. This is what led me to DuPont R&D as they were my client on several projects. And in 1997, I accepted an R&D position within the DuPont engineering polymers business. So it is within the kitchen of R&D that I have advanced from sous chef to executive chef primarily through cooking with innovation. So let's look at some of the examples from my journey and highlight some key ingredients in my innovation stew. One useful ingredient can be reverse thinking, reversing the verb or the action of the problem. For example, right after joining the engineering polymers organization, there was a problem in applying underwater melt cutting technology to high melt point polymers as these polymers would freeze at the water interface due to heat loss in the molten polymer. A team had been modeling and experimenting for months with reducing the heat loss in the polymer using ceramic insulators. The innovation was based on reversing the problem. So instead of a problem of reducing heat loss, it became one of increasing the heat gain. A new equipment design was developed that greatly increased the heat transfer into the polymer to overwhelm the heat losses. And this patented invention was a key component in successfully using an underwater melt cutting process for these polymers. A second and similar innovation ingredient might be opposite thinking. What are the antonyms of the adjectives of the problem statement? For example, there was another time we needed to have a controlled chemical reaction of water with a polymer while at a very high temperature significantly above the boiling point of water. 
injecting water directly into the high temperature process worked, but the reaction was inconsistent due to variations in the water vaporization. The opposite thinking was looking beyond liquid water with the innovation to add dry water. This was a trihydrate powder that would decompose and release the water at high temperatures with repeatable consistency. This innovation was a key component in the commercialization of a new family of LCPs, which are liquid crystal polymers. My third ingredient is historical thinking. Isaac Newton once said that if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. We must learn from the past, but we always need to be prepared to challenge past truths in light of new learnings. For example, after moving to the Tyvek organization, I was tasked with a program that required the development of a new but equivalent products off new technology assets. This program had been around for years and the problem was always getting one key performance criteria to be equivalent. Previous development work had determined a technology to optimize this performance criteria, but extensive testing had shown that sometimes this technology didn't work. Only by studying and learning from the past work while challenging it with new knowledge could we find the inadequacies of the historical explanations. With a new level of understanding, we were able to successfully complete the medical packaging transition program. Now, for my final in innovation ingredient today, it is one that is always required for any significant innovation. Courage. Being an innovator requires many traits. Technical skills, curiosity, problem-solving aptitude, creativity, but one of the most overlooked traits is courage. Courage to try and to potentially fail. Significant advances will be disruptive and making big changes can be risky. So let me give you one more example. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the need for Tyvek garments for personal protection was off the charts. The business had already instituted many changes to maximize the supply of Tyvek PPE, but this still did not meet the world's demand. All of DuPont's assets that could manufacture the needed fabric were running at maximum capacity. But there was one asset that did have some extra capacity, but it was not designed to make a protective apparel fabric and it had never been tried. It is with courage that it was proposed to the business that a conversion could be done to modify this equipment and to manufacture a pandemic response PPE fabric. And due to the pressing global need, an aggressive two-week conversion and development process was promised to the business, and the product Tyvek 1222A was delivered as part of the Tyvek Together program. This record-setting development resulted in over 100 million more protective garments for first responders in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. So returning for just a moment to the film Ratatouille, there was a second half to the motto of Chef Gusto. His full motto was, anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. This is often what is holding back both innovation and innovators. Great innovations come from great innovators and great innovators are not timid innovators. Gates, Jobs, and the rest of the innovators I listed all had a common denominator of courage and they have made world-changing innovations. Hopefully, my journey can also serve as an example that you don't have to have a worldwide name to be a fearless and world-changing innovator. Bon appetit.